There we go, we are live. Okay, welcome to the stream. Uh, I said on Sunday in our regular Sunday stream that I thought I would do a separate live stream to share a huge haul of media I picked up. Now, I've been selling media since the very first business I set up in 1998, which was a record store. And it's still something that really excites me. I love selling media. Um, it has become harder and harder to sell media and make good money on it. But there's still money there if you know what you're looking for. Um, so this haul is CDs, books, a serious amount of books. You can't see, but there's piles around me here. Um, so, yeah, CDs, books, a bit of DVD and... Yeah. Oh, and some VHS. I dabbled in VHS as well. So we are live. So people are popping in. Hey there, Peter, Chris, Martin, Damien, Laura, Leanne, Panza. Hey, Ashley, Rosie, Chris, lots and lots of people. So I will crack on because there's a lot to share. Now, as I was saying, I've been selling media for a long, long. Hi, Laura. A long, long time, and certainly with CDs and DVDs, it's getting tough to make money on. But if the price is right and it's the right sort of stuff, I will pick it up. And the price on these was 20 pence an item, and I bought lots. So I actually got discount on that, which was crazy. Um, I haven't been through the vast majority of this since it, it was a bit of a feeding frenzy. There are a lot of people like me who, who resale media so the stall was mad the guy just for a bit of background the guy is a house clearance um chap and he had cleared a collector's house this all came from one collection um i'm guessing the guy had passed away and his house was being cleared so let's just jump in i'm going to start with the books now i picked up I don't know how many, a, an awful lot of Terry, Terry Pratchett. Um, mostly the ones we all see regularly, the paperbacks. It feels like I've got every single Pratchett novel down there. I'll show you in a sec. But also some really nice, interesting stuff. Uh, these I have looked up. These are maps of the, um, you know, the fantasy world. This is, how do you say that? Tourist Guide to Lankra? <laughs> I don't know. So they are maps of the, the fictional world, and they are really beautifully illustrated. I'm not going to, um, won't unfold it all. Um, yeah, have a look. Terry Pratchett map. Uh, I've got, there's this one. Death's Domain, again, exactly the same. Great big fold-out map. These sell, and these sell well. Um, I've looked up so much stuff recently. Not much in this haul, but a few bits. I don't know. Up to £10 each, I think they were, depending on which one. Ankh Morpork. There's a board game of that. That's worth picking up. Again, this is the map. So these were all 20 pence each. Discworld. Oh, what are we selling? Uh, I've sold a Magic the Gathering card for £10. Nice. Uh, this is quite nice. Discworld Almanac. Um, yeah, it goes on and on. Some really nice things. This person, whoever they were, was a fanatic. The art of Discworld. Really nice hardback. These uh, bigger ones, they um, I got these three for a pound. But again, I got discounts on the whole lot. I, I feel we filled the trolley and some. It was huge. Check that out. That's cool. So the the novel, somebody did message me on Facebook. Um, message again. Hopefully you'll watch this video because they were interested in buying all of these. There are a lot. Now, I've been picking up and selling Terry Pratchett books for a long, long time. He was a prolific, prolific writer. Um, and at 20 pence each, there's money here. Now, interesting, a lot of these still have the receipts tucked in like this from when the chap bought them. 
Uh, this one's faded. Oh, 1997. Five ninety nine in 1997. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how many I've got. That's a stack. These I've sold in the past in bundles on eBay. I haven't looked into it. I can only assume there is still a market. And at 20 pence each, I would I was all over it. Um, it's a good question. It's a very good question. I don't know. How much on average will I get? I don't know. A lot more than 20 pence. So again, I will look into these. Some may have particular, particularly more value if they're obscure, but these all sold in vast numbers. So I think bundling will be the way to go. I may even do one huge job lot. We're not done on the Pratchett. So again, I've never seen a collection of Terry Pratchett stuff this big. It, it does feel like, if not all that he issued, most of it. Oh, sadly, he's not with us anymore. And there we go. So that's the end of the Terry Pratchett stuff. So these were all 20 pence each. Like I said, I, I, I made a heap. Um, there were a couple of people there that we know from the channel. Uh, they picked up all the Star Wars novels and Doctor Who. I saw a chap today at the post office shipping a load out of the Doctor Who. Um, they were picking out those. So I left, I left, left, left. <laughs> left them to it right i wasn't going to tread on their toes but the doctor who vintage novels um are good star wars likewise so i went for the pratchett and these these are dragon lance big series uh see at the top there tsr if you search dragon lance uh, or dragon lance tsr and then do complete um Search highest price first. You'll see some bundles. Uh, these can be great. And I don't know how many of these I've got, but there's a lot. Um, these come in mini series as well. So if you, again, if you search on eBay, little sets of these like trilogies or four or five books in a series can do really well. Again, I haven't had a chance to go through this and see which series I've got complete. But at the price I was paying, we just grabbed all that we could find of this Dragon Lance collection. It goes on and on. So there's all of those. If anyone is watching and they're interested in any, in any of this, of course, I'm happy to do subscriber deals. It's so hot in here. I'm going to be sweating after this. So that's almost it on the Dragon Lance. <laughs> so there's those. So if you're taking a look now on eBay, um, yeah, search compl completed and then highest price first and see what these go for in bundles. It's quite amazing. So yeah, Pete's having a look. Two or three early ones, 25 pounds. So there you go. Um, I spent on books, um, I think it was about 30 or 40 pounds in total on all of the books. So yeah, they are nice. Um, I'm not sure I've sold Dragonlance. I've, I've picked up loads of fantasy books over the years. I probably have, but I don't remember specifically. But I was very pleased to find those. And then a similar sort of series. Um, I'm not sure you'd have to tell me on completed whether these are just as good or not. Are these Forgotten Realms? Um, this chap, and it was a chap apparently that I chatted a little bit to the to the seller, the house clearance guy. He was clearly a fantasy book nut. I mean, he had hundreds and hundreds. The, the, 
chaps who were there picking out all of the Star Wars and Doctor Who, they bought as much as I did just on those two themes. So, yeah, crazy. So, Forgotten Realms. Uh, if someone wants to do a completed search and take a look at bundles, let me know if they're any good. Because we have a few. <laughs> and again, I've not had a chance to go through and put these into sets. But I think these are a similar kind of case. They come in little, uh, like, see, oh, there we go, look. The Dark Elf Trilogy book two, the Dark Elf Trilogy book one. So Dark Elf Trilogy, I would assume there's all three here. I don't know. I can't see the third one. Almost certainly that's how I would sell them. If not, I will bundle even more together. Oh. And there you go. That's the rest of the Forgotten Realms. Like so. Oh, I'm so hot. All over the place. Up to £10 each. Right? So when when the chap said books 20p wherever you wherever you like we uh yeah filled the trolley um so that was those that's pretty much all of the books um let's move those out of the way so this guy this chap um was also a music fanatic and had an awful lot of CDs. Uh, CDs were the same price, 20 pence each, uh, as were the DVDs. It was, yeah, amazing. Hi, Neil. Um, it was at Gravely two weeks back, and then he told me he was going to be at Hitchin. Somebody was asking where I live. I live in Hitchin, Hertfordshire. So I went down to Hitchin, got there early, and was there as he was unloading the van with stuff that he didn't take to Gravely. So I kind of got first dibs on the second wave of it. So CD-wise, I mean, I've not been through this. I grabbed whatever I could at, at 20 pence each. There was loads and loads of Bowie. I'm sure there were... Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, this is one I've sold a few times in the past. Um, this, Morton Harkett, Tap Point. Which band was Morton Harkett from? Well, still is. I believe they're still going. Uh, this is his solo album from the 90s, I want to say. Yeah, 95. I don't know what the price is, but I'm sure I've sold this for about a tenner in the past. Solo album from 95. Aha, yes. Hey, Carla. I'm sorry. I know you're going live shortly. I needed to do this haul because I want to get the stuff listed. <laughs> so I'm going to quickly match up. Hey, Laney. Yes. Aha. Yeah, everyone knows. Aha. Yeah. Hi, Kelly. Um, yes, Bowie. Awesome. I know. Um, there's loads of it. And the great thing about this haul, I I automatically check discs when I'm buying media. It's, like I said, my first ever business was a record shop in 98, dealing mainly in CDs, not vinyl. So I do it automatically. But there was so much stuff, and everyone I checked was like new, so I just stopped looking. That's nice. 20 pence each, double CD, Bowie at the Beeb. I mean, I was like a pig in in a sauna. <laughs> yeah, so Bowie, there is... Uh, that's not... I've never seen that issue. Oh, right, okay. I've seen that, but this one has a slipcase. Um, Earthling, that was... Oh, I remember this. 97, I want to say. Yep, 97. Hours, was that called? Hours, yep. 
That was 99. I was working in a Virgin at that point. 99. So, yeah, there's loads and loads. Classic, Ziggy Stardust, Space Oddity, Diamond Dogs, etc. So, there's loads of that sort of stuff. I mean, CDs-wise, it's another obscure one. CDs wise, it's hundreds. Um, I went nuts for it. And I was also buying artists that individually, that there's kind of no money in it, but as a bundle, it's worth doing, such as one of my favorites, Erasure. They had loads of Erasure stuff. I own all of the albums anyway, so they're not for me, but they're, they're not all together, but there's loads of. Erasure stuff. Now, you, you can't really sell these for much because the media buyers do them so cheap. But as a collection of five, six, seven, ten, whatever, yeah, it's worth doing. Uh, there's another one, for example. Brilliant album, that. That's 95. <laughs> and then artists like this, Andre Ryu. Um, there must be, I've got loads and loads of. Uh, DVDs of his as well. Some of these do go quite well individually. It's been a while, so don't quote me. If not, again, bundled these fly. I've, I've done bundles of the CDs before. Um, there was loads, but I can't see any right here. <laughs> yeah, loads and loads of Andre Ryu. He's a classical violin player. Um, again, bundle fodder. Uh, I, I tend to bundle plus divide and multiply together and they go for about a tenner. Um, so yeah, there's just so much of it. I don't know quite where to start with the CDs. Let's pick out a few highlights. Uh, there's loads of Springsteen, um, cool stuff like this, War of the Worlds, love that. We went to see, they, they did a a stage show version we went to see it at the o2 it must have been about 10 years ago it's great best of the eagles that sort of stuff um oh i'll tell you what there was here we go now somebody messaged me about the kate bush stuff that i have and um yeah so this is the kate bush stuff these are singles but Kate Bush is one of those artists that is incredibly collected. So we've got Moments of Pleasure. This is a limited edition with some really nice prints. Gorgeous. Some of these, I think that's one, are quite rare. Uh, I think it was that one. I did briefly look up some of these. I think that's about a 10 on its own. But yeah, some really nice singles. Sensual World. I oh, remember that album. What's that? 89 or 90? 89. Rubber Band Girl. So loads and loads of Kate Bush stuff. Again, these are all singles, which will be listed individually or as a bundle and at 20 pence each. Awesome. I grabbed these. I don't think there's much value in them, but PJ Harvey is amazing. And these are early, so I thought there might be a collector's market. I really don't know. So you've got 50 foot Queenie and oh, what was this? Nanog, is it? Nagig, Sheila Nagig. Um random, right? Taste wise. You've then got I made one random I made. I sold that before. It went international for about ten pounds. A couple of KLF just just because I love the KLF. Tori Amos, loads of Tori Amos singles. I mean, it just goes on and on. So that's some of the singles. And then again, random taste, right? Skid Row. This is one of those. Um, I remember in the early nineties, it was cool to do these fancy not really holographic but cds with graphics on sorry i'm aware i am ignoring the comments hey aid yeah i love the klf their, their light shone very brightly for a very brief moment of time right 
This, I think, is my favorite. Uh, and then we'll move on from the singles. Temple of Love 92 by the Sisters of Mercy. This is a limited edition card pack. Again, everything was 20p. Annoyingly, the back of the postcards have a little bit of foxing on, so it's got slightly damp. It doesn't smell. But how cool are these cards look? Love that. So I don't know if Krillin's in, but he's a he's a fellow Sisters of Mercy fan, so he would love this. Um, yeah, so that's gives you an idea on some of the singles. I think that's most of the singles we picked up. And then, I mean, down by my feet, there's heaps. Oh, look, more. Did I show that one? I think I did. More erasure for bundling. Adele for bundling. Um, random sealed audio book. Not going to leave it behind for 20p. Um, instant bundle. There's more than this as well. One of my favorite albums of all time, Achtung Baby. No value on their own, but at 20 pence each, uh, bundled together, Rutland Harm Classic. There's Zeropa here. I think it's a masterpiece, but it was criminally underrated. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the U2 stuff just goes on. I think there's more. I can't see. Yeah, all that you can't leave behind is there. Loads and loads more of this Andre Ryu stuff. Um, <laughs> it's just tons of it. And the condition, as I said before, I gave up looking because they are all pretty much mint. Oh, look, there's me. Only available at Sainsbury's <laughs> at Radiohead. So, yeah, I mean... I'll pick out a few highlights because there are hundreds. I'm not sure exactly how many I bought CD-wise. Um, that's cool, Lacuna Coil, the EPs. Um, I bought some more obscure stuff uh, just to try it. The Adventurers, I think there's a, two or three of those. Tarka. Uh, there's loads of Eurythmics to bundle up. Deep Purple. Just, oh, it's, it just goes on and on. I love it. Oh, and then weirdly, well, not weirdly, but I've, I've done bundles of this guy before, Harry Connick. Now, he has way more albums than you would imagine. And I think there's all of them here. So, yeah. Loads of the classics in here. More Bowie. Oh, I showed that. Was that another one? Sure, I showed. Did I show Ziggy before? I don't know. Patty Smith. Nice. Um, and yeah, quite a few, like I'd say, instant bundles. And when the price is 20p each, and then, of course, I got discount on that. It's rude not to. These are nice. Digitally remastered. I'll look into those, see if they're, whether they're still issuing those or not. So I think there's a few, yeah. So there's a few of these digital remaster versions. There you go. Nice. Very nice indeed. So let's have a quick look down here. That's interesting. Don't know if it's worth anything, but the Iron Man musical by Pete Townsend. Highs are here. Skilt, is that? Love your media fetish. Is it a fetish? Okay, I'll take that. 
yeah i don't know i'm i'm intrigued to listen to this so pete townsend obviously uh guitarist from the who now i was saying about Hany harry conic i don't know how many there are but i think it's probably at least 10. oh and then soundtracks i grabbed every single soundtrack cd i could find um including loads of bond ones which again if they're not um worth selling individually these will bundle up and quite often these go well with the media buyers um because you know they're quite obscure and quite often the, the prices are high on amazon so the media buyers will pay good money so i grabbed look at that xena now, how obscure is that? Wow. Any hands Zimmer? Don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I love picking up soundtrack CDs. The more obscure, the better. So we've got Halloween 4. I feel like opening a quick music magpie or zip it page. Let me do that. It just gives you a quick idea if there's any value in stuff. It's probably going to say 10p. Oh, it didn't recognize the barcode. It's that obscure. Oh, there we go. £1.90. Okay, so there you go. Perfect example. So if Ziffit are offering me £1.90, there's so many soundtracks. Perfect Storm, Sealed, Star Wars. Oh, this is cool. Suspiria, Goblin. Now, um, Suspiria, um, Tom York did a soundtrack for, I think, I, I only assume, I've never seen the film, I only assume it was a reissued version of the film. Tom York did the soundtrack, which I was obsessed with for a while. So, yeah, let me scan this, actually. I bet this is... Oh, oh okay. That's not going to happen. It's not barcoded. What's the date on that? Ooh. Oh, it says 87. Hmm. Don't know why it's not barcoded then. Goblin, thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm looking forward to having a listen to that one for sure. So, yeah, it just... Seriously, this is... Forget buying shoes. Why did I buy those shoes? This is where this is where my passion is. Oh, I've, so, I've shown that. Oh, there's loads of Duran Duran. Uh, I'll make a bundle, probably. Lord of the Rings again. Oh, Hue and Cry. Now, if you'd have asked me, I'd probably say, oh, maybe they had two albums. I think there's at least four Hue and Cry albums in here. I remember buying um, Labour of Love in 80... 87 <coughs> here comes the dust allergies yes Hans Zimmer movie soundtrack composer no doubt there is some Hans Zimmer in here but I couldn't tell you um, so we've got piles in front of me here loads of Bruce Springsteen I mean I don't know how many Bruce albums I picked out but it was they just kept coming. Oh, classic. Talking heads. Um, yeah. Bruce. 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 But, oh. <laughs> that guy again. Oh, that guy again. Garth Brooks. Ultimate. Triple CD. Is that really a triple? Oh, yeah. Ooh, fancy. It's got three in it. Oh. Oh, no, oh, making a mess. One for Mel, if you're watching. She likes a bit of country. Yeah, but Bruce, uh, it's there's loads. Um, right, we'll come back to CDs. So this guy also had a huge collection of DVDs. There were other buyers going nuts over the DVDs and just making piles. I homed in on the CDs and then the books. DVDs for me was um, an afterthought the first day. When I went back the second day to the boot sale he said he was going to be at, um, 
I I dove into the DVDs more and there was fresh stuff. So, for example, I grabbed pretty much all of the music DVDs they had. I've sold this before. can't remember what it goes for. Queen on Fire, Live at the Bowl. Again, everything was 20 pence. Condition is they look barely played. You're not going to be able to see, but. Uh, not that I remember, Neil, no. I've, I've heard shoes can be assembled into lovely CD racks. <laughs> Get to the chopper. <laughs> okay, let's scroll down. Ah, oh, damn, so hot. <laughs> if you if you had those metal drawers, you could have sorted them all nicely. No, I'm happy to just list them and get them moving. Again, Freddie Mercury video collection. Don't know that I've had that before, but I would imagine that's pretty good let's do let's do the zip it test they're offering a pound so yeah there's money in that i grabbed literally all of the um music ones i find they sell and occasionally you find ones that are worth 10 and beyond so i just grabbed them all uh let's show you a few more Cure Greatest Hits. This is probably a keeper. I don't have that in my collection. Chili Peppers, Funky Monks. So you get the idea. And then, as I said, whoever this chap was had a real obsession with this guy because there's probably as many DVDs as there are CDs. Double, like like if you haven't had enough yet. I mean, wow. Remember when we had the High Street store every Christmas, this guy would bring out another album and DVD. So it just churns them out. Um, so, yeah, it just goes on and on. It's so, oh, I so love this all. This is nice. I've not seen this version before. It's the Immaculate Collection. So Madonna again. And the kind of later Best of Video Collection. But bundled together in a card sleeve. So that's nice. Probably not a lot of value. But it may be bundled up with those uh, Madonna albums. And help that to shift quick. But yeah, 20 pence. 20 pence. Oh, I don't think Andrea's seen this. Limited edition. This is probably, I don't know. I think I've sold this before, about, about 10. It might be more. I don't know. Just checking if it's got the, uh... yeah, here we go. So Pink Floyd's the wall, and it's got the little fold out. Movie poster. Love that film. With the Gerald Scarf animation in it. Awesome. So there you go. Um, Beastie Boys. Such an eclectic taste this guy had. Uh, this slightly annoying I, I grabbed it uh box sets were a pound um uh, most of which i left behind but there were loads there was piles and piles of box sets um i thought this was still factory sealed i think i grabbed it from that end realized that it's actually been opened it's just still got the shrink on it anyway don't know if there's much left much value in twin peaks anymore but i grabbed that thinking it was sealed this one is steel sealed. Muppet Show Volume 3. 
So that's cool. There's another Muppet show, I think. Depending on what they're worth, they may get bundled up. Muppet show two. This makes me feel old and young at the same time because I remember watching these as a kid. Uh, it's loads of stuff. There's a bunch of Disney in there. Um, that's in Wonderland. More music. Some 41. They made a comeback the other year. Cindy Lauper. So that gives you an idea on the DVDs. There's there's loads of it. And then if we dip back into the CDs, we'll have a rummage. I can't remember what's in it. I've got a massive box here. I've not even looked in since bringing it all home. Let's move these out of the way. Oh, good Lord. Oh, actually, before we do that, I'll show you the VHS I picked up. Um, there's a couple of guys there buying up lots and lots of the videos. Obviously, they deal in that more than I do and kind of knew what they were looking for. So I think the really good stuff has probably been picked through by the time I got to it. But I picked up some stuff. So we've got Star Wars, the special edition widescreen. Uh, I did try and look these up. There's not much in it. Probably about 10 to 12 pounds for the set, but they're cool. So I grabbed those. Uh, I grabbed some horror. I think I checked this one and it seemed quite good. Night Beast. I'm not an expert in VHS. Um, we used to sell loads of it whilst it was still a cur current format back when we started on eBay in the late 90s. Um, videos were a, a staple of what we would sell, but I'm no expert in what has value. This I knew had a bit of value because it's Pet Shop Boys, the film they made in 89, 88, 89, 88. Um, I really want this on DVD so I can watch it. We don't have a video player. Um, but yeah, that's cool. That should have some good value. By good value, I don't know. Maybe maybe a tenner. <laughs> yeah. VHS horror. Um, the little bit I know about VHS is there are certain kids programs that were never issued on DVD um, that, that hold their value. I've dabbled in that over the years horror and the pre-certificate horror stuff and the stuff that was never put onto DVD, that may fall into that category of stuff that's just never been issued on DVD, hence people are picking it up. Uh, Muppets got to be 12 to 18.99 new, surely. I don't know. I haven't looked, but it sounds about right. Hi, right. simply reselling. Um, so... I also grabbed these, um, carrying on the, the Pratchett theme, I picked up, as you may have saw, uh, if you're just joining us, I picked up what feels like every Terry Pratchett book ever released, I don't know if it is, um, these I don't think actually hold much value, we've got Weird Sisters double VHS pack, and Discworld there, oh no, sorry, Soul Music, I think there's another one, maybe. Uh, but I don't think they're good. Oh, yeah, here we go. That one as well. So I'll bundle those, but I don't think they're great. Um, some I did briefly look up at the time. I can't remember which. Uh, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. I can't remember which one of the ones of these were any good. And then there's just some classics just to... Um, to see how they go. These are the CIC video original covers. And something was telling me to pick them up, but they're probably a fail. So you've got Airplane and Airplane 2. Look at that. So of its time. Again, no idea if they're any good. Uh, and Blade Runner, probably no good. But I... I I thought I would experiment. A few I did look up, and they seemed okay. I think that one was all right. Conan, this is the big box. So if you sit it next to that, this is like a, a standard. 
that's like a big box kind of like the rental box i don't know if it is x rental might well be it looks like it's had lots of stickers on so it could be x rental let's have a look yeah it's got a little stamp on it there video something something stevenage anyway so oh yeah okay big boxes are all rentals there we go i think that was one i looked up i honestly can't remember it was it was crazy at the time i, I went to the the vhs after i'd been through every cd every dvd and just kind of messed about but these are quite cool so big box again we have <coughs> oh big box commando and we've got some bond <coughs> god it is painfully hot and now very dusty Ooh. so check that out octopusy big box along with living daylights now i looked one or two of these up and they said there seemed to be a market for that particular version so whether these will go as a bundle so we've got never say never again i thought they were nice and at 20p it's a perfect price point to uh experiment with right Harry, original big VHS Warner Brothers box has been going for 50 to 60. Wow. There's a group on Facebook, go mad for them. I sell a few on there. Okay. I could have, the chap offered me all of his videos for a set price and it was cheap. But I, there was an awful lot of very obvious crap in there as well. So I grabbed a few to experiment with who remembers that and again the the cic stripey box it's probably just me but that just screams early 80s to me i remember these boxes and the cic logo that just sticks in my mind when was this then it's got to be early 80s oh mid 80s that says 85 happy days <laughs> oh big box so i got the standard and big box blade runner that's probably quite collectible i would think who knows a couple more oh another terry pratchett and who remembers that batteries not included again cic Kelly LeBrock, is that who that was? Yes, Kelly LeBrock. So that, oh, another random bond, although that is not, see these I think will go better because they are the big box. That is the regular. So that's all I did with the, the videos I left boxes and boxes of videos there so that's that oh actually oh. hey john john and i were chatting earlier we we've done a little bit of a swapsy on something that is the right john isn't it i think so i get confused with who's who <laughs> um so yeah, videos, uh, that'll be an interesting experiment. I sold a few videos recently, well not recently, over the last couple of years, I don't know, very few, I dabble in it. Um, but they do okay. Again, if you see anything in this video you want, message me, we'll sort it out. Now let's go back to CDs quickly. We'll have a dip in here. I have not looked in here since I bought it home. 
see if there's anything exciting. So going back to soundtracks, um, one crate or box that came out of the back of this guy's van, it was, it felt like it was just soundtrack after soundtrack. So I was picking them out in handfuls. So I don't remember what I've got. So we've got License to Kill, Live and Let Die. And I wouldn't be surprised if I do the Ziffit test again, if these all have some value. Well, they're offering 44 pence on that. So that's not terrible. Obviously, that's not its value. That's what they're prepared to pay. 169 on here. So you can see that their algorithm, which will be dragging prices off Amazon almost certainly, is saying it's worth them paying 169 for that. So instantly indicates that the, the potential resale is considerably more than that. So what have we got in here? This, there's a bit of everything. Sabbath. That's cool. Looks like an original 83 issue. Let me just scan that. £1.15 on Ziffit. So again, very cool. Yeah, condition is immaculate. Is that Aussie with all that hair? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, vocals is not even Aussie on that. So what's that, pre-Aussie? Got vocals down there, whoever that is. I'm not an expert on the Sabbath. I don't know much about them. So, yeah, there's... Oh, I remember this, yeah. There's, there's very little money in Blur stuff, but if it's an instant bundle... I'll go for it. There you go. Done. Um, oh, Enya. There's like every Enya album going. Instant bundle. I've done that loads of times. Sells. Now, this is interesting. Talking Heads, popular favourite, Sand and the Vaseline. So it's a double. I have never seen that. Um, not in this bundle. I do have another bunch that I picked up recently, but yeah, let's scan this one into Ziffit quick and see what they're offering out of interest. 71p. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I like that. Um, one of my favourites, Pet Shop Boys. There's a lot of their stuff, but the earlier stuff. Oh, and here we go. There's some of them here. Bilingual, which was, what, 96? This is cool. Alternative. It's not the... There's a cover of this, which is... What do you call it? You know, where it changes the image. I can't remember what they call it. I don't actually think I have that. So that I'm keeping. Pretty sure I don't have that. You got their classic, um, <laughs> nearly called it Lego, very with the, what's called the Lego sleeve with the little, like, look how dusty this is. This is why my allergies are going mental. Behaviour, perhaps their masterpiece. It's difficult for me to decide. Oh, there's so much stuff in here. There's a load of AHA, which will bundle up really well. Oh, look. Hawkwind. Welcome to the future. Lenticular. That's what I meant. Yes. Holographic. No, it, it, it is lenticular, where it kind of refracts the light. So from different angles, it moves. Yeah, lenticular. Yes, they do. I sell them all the time. Any hip hop stuff? Not really. This guy would seemingly was into his rock and pop and middle of the road mainly by the look of it. 
um, with a little bit of country sh thrown in. I'll show you something in a sec. Let's scan this um, fork wind. Oh, they're not accepting it. Oh, they don't want to buy that. Okay, whatever. I thought that was interesting. Um, yeah, this guy's taste. So we've gone from <coughs> Hawkwind, Talking Heads, Sabbath, to Billy Ray Cyrus. Now, if you'd asked me, I'd, I'd have said, yeah, he's probably had one album. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. There's four, and there may be more in here. I'm not sure. Instant bundle, unless they're worth. Let's let's, let's scan Billy into Ziffit. I bet they don't want to take Billy. No. No. <laughs> Billy got no value. No. They want none of those. That's fine. I'm not sending them to you. I will sell them, I have no doubt. Um, what else have we got? Oh, here's a cool one. Now that, limited pressing of a thousand copies for promotional use only. So it's not barcoded. Lucio Fulci's Zombie. That is cool. So it's not not a retail issue. Limited to a thousand. Now we were talking about Goblin earlier. Goblin's greatest hits not barcoded. That's very cool. Oh, that's got a little bit of foxing. That will come off. See those little spe... Oh, you won't be able to see it. There you go. The little speckles. That will come off. So, yeah, again, on the soundtracks, I don't know how many soundtracks I picked out. Let's make some room in here. But you can see it was it was an epic find. Uh, numbers wise, I, I just don't know. Oh, Dire Straits! It feels like there's every Dire Straits album in here. They'll be bundled up. Prodigy, loads of Prodigy stuff. Again, just bundled. Have no real value on their own. You with mix loads, Clanad, all that sort of stuff. More Harry Connick there. All right, we'll pick out a few more interesting bits. Let's see what the chat's saying. Think you're doing really well on the zombie one. Probably. Uh, again. Prodigy bundle. Oh, look at that sticker. That takes me back to my first job at our price. Fifteen forty-nine. Now that cover has been a bit damp at some point. That's got quite bad foxing on it. You see that? It doesn't smell bad, though. What did you experience their first album? So we're talking what ninety-two, ninety-two. Come on. Um. Yeah, I said I've mentioned a few times, but honestly. How many albums did Harry Connick have? There's just, <laughs> there's just everywhere. I mean, seriously. <laughs> right? Let's, let's scan one into Ziffit. I bet they don't want Harry. Nope. <laughs> they don't want Harry. Um, so, yeah. Chris Isaac, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, again, this is now in my head, Chris Isaac and Harry Connick do get muddled up actually, they're kind of interchangeable. Um, but yeah, you'd think 
Well, he had Wicked Game, and there's the album of the same name. Maybe he had one or two albums after. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> so I will scan these and, and take a look, but the chances are that will just, I'll just lay these out, bundle them, and away they will go. Quick and easy. Oh, we're back on the zombies. Dawn of the Dead. George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead. Music by Goblin. Ah. As if it don't take it. We've got more. The Abyss. Whatever that is. Serpent and the Rainbow. That looks obscure. Let's do the Ziffit test. Oh, I'm not taking it. Fine. Fine. Whatever. So, yeah, I mean, there's still loads in here. Oh, more Bond. Oh, there's a band, House Martins. Awesome. The Fog, not barcoded. Obscure is good. Fantasia. Oh, that'll go with those other Prodigy ones. So, yeah, there's just big chunks. I mean, there's like every Bon Jovi album, for example. It's just literally because the price was right, which was 20 pence each, and then because I was buying so many, we kind of, you know, did a bit of a deal. These, I've done bundles like this so many times. It just makes sense. Oh, I've got to run your nose now. Stephen King, The Fog. Yes, it is. I, I believe he wrote the, the book. Okay, but it is still junk. I'm, I'm not saying it's not junk. Zombie soundtrack, £49 on Discogs. Really? Okie dokie. Serpent and Rainbow cult film. Not one I've seen. Mad eBay questions for Peter. <laughs> Will Nick listen to Andre Ryu? Not really my bag. Not my bag, so no. <laughs> Probably not. Right, let's dip in here a few more. Oh, there's a call. I sold that on its own. Oh, was it a promo? Oh, I can't remember. It, this is an early, and this is pre-barcoded. Um, I sell, I sell so much, much media. Don't quote me, but I think that's that might be worth selling on its own. Oh, there's a load of Mark Olman stuff. Um, I think there was a load of it. Can't see any more now. I was one there. I thought I had a few. So, yeah, easy bundling stuff again. So we'll find any more soundtracks. Here we go, here we go. Soundtracks, soundtracks. Hmm. WWF Aggression. So here, are you still in? Do you want that? <laughs> Prince of Darkness soundtrack. Sleeve's not been put back in right. I'll tell you a personal bug there, something that winds me up. Why can't people put sleeves in behind the little lugs, right? Why do people put the sleeves in, miss the first lugs like that, 
and then shut it and you get these little dings. Oh, oh, it drives me nuts. How hard is that to just slide, just slide it in properly, right? Anyway, that looks very cool. Robocop. Now, I watched this so many times back in the late 80s that me and my mate learned pretty much all the words. We were watching this over and over and Aliens. And we could quote most of the film. Let's scan that one. Uh, no, they don't want it. They don't want it. They don't want it. You like a bit of Robocop reselling, Dad? Yeah, it's a good film. I don't think I ever watched... Was there a two and a three? I didn't want to ruin the memory of the first one, which for its time was classic. Now, this chap loved his horror. Look at that. Return of the Living Dead Part 2. Love that artwork. Look at that. Reminds me of Iron Maiden. I wonder if it's the same artist. Don't know. Come on, Zip it. I'm sure you'd want this. Not that you're going to get it. Oh, didn't scan. No, they're not taking it. Whatever. So, yeah, that kind of sums it up. That's my collection. There's loads more Madonna in here. It'll go with those other others to be bundled. Loads of Clanad. Oh, ELP. Nice double. The trouble with doubles is that it, it goes beyond large letter. So you've got to sell it for that much more, really, because I tend to do uh, shipping included. So it jumps from, I think, uh, a large letter cost me about 80 pence, jumps to nearer three pounds when it's that, which can be can be irritating. Let's see if I can dig out any more soundtracks before we go. Oh, look. I think that was the one we had the big box for. Conan the Destroyer. All right, it's barcoded. Let's scan it. Yes. They're offering a whole 30 pence. Well, you're not going to get it. Arnie. Oh, apocalypse now. So there we have it. There's several other instant bundles in here in excess, which won't hold much value. But when it's, I love that album. Welcome to Wherever You Are. It's brilliant. Their classic kick, which was 87. Yep. And X, which I think was 90. Yep, 1990. Uh, there's more as well, I'm sure. Oh, 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 soundtracks. Let's do these. Can't get them out. More zombies. Zombie Holocaust. Oh, hello. She's not wearing a lot. Very cool. Batman motion picture score. So this, I think this was the first, yeah, 89. So Batman did uh, an album of songs inspired by and for the movie. This is the score. So this is more the background and incidental music. Yeah, Danny Elfman. That's cool. Let's scan that out of interest. As if it will give you 20 pence. No, they don't want it at all. <laughs> Danny Elfman again, Nightbreed. Oh, no, that was one. That was, again, one that we had uh, the VHS for, I think. 
two pounds thirty eight. So if Ziffit are offering two pounds thirty eight, that's worth considerably more than that. I would think. Wow. Look at them. They look a fun bunch. Right, so that, I think, will conclude. Um, we could carry on, but <laughs> you've probably got better things to do. It gives you an idea. I wanted to get this video out as well because I'm doing my own kind of a uh, little bit of a listing challenge this week. I'm just trying to keep myself on track. So I wanted to make this video so I could make up bundles and get a lot of this listed um, and get it onto the listed shelf and make some space over there because we have another hall that is currently being quarantined, uh, which needs to come in here and go on the not listed, you know, new stock shelf over there. So I wanted to get this video made. Sold any more of the white boots? Yes, shipped some today. Uh, I've got another job lot going out, which is cool. Uh, I've got another couple of inquiries about bundles as well. Um, I think most of those boots I'm going to do job lots of. Um, they are trickling out on eBay. Um, selling them to the end users is going to be slow as hell. So, yeah, we're going to bundle most of those. Would be nice to see all the media piled up. <laughs> It'd be quite a heap. Let's do a few more messages before we go. Let me scroll back a bit. That's a German zombie movie. It's kind of nuts. Which one? The Nightbreed? That one? I've never enjoyed horror. Lost interest after kick. I did until uh, Welcome to Wherever You Are. I didn't really listen to X. It felt super, super commercial to me. And I just, yeah, I kind of got tired of it. But Welcome, I thought it was a great album. Um, hello, hello. Question, Nick, how and when did you have time to listen to all this music? This isn't my music. This is a, a collection of somebody else's music that I picked up. Uh, they were all 20 pence each, and then we had job lot discounts. Um, but I will listen to a lot of this. I, I tend to have music playing in here while I list, so I listen to music most of the day. It's a pleasure, Tom. Glad you enjoyed. Ah, have they made that uh, stipulation that we have to in shops now? I did hear that was likely to be coming. Ah, Ozzy wasn't on two of the Black Sabbath albums as he left the band. Sorry if it was earlier. Oh, that's fine. I didn't know if that album predated when he joined or something, but okay. Zombie Holocaust, I'm sure that was a band movie. Maybe. Oh, it's just jumped. Solaris score. Did I show that one? It was that one I don't have, but you just looked it up. Uh, good to see you, Lee. Working in a music shop. Yeah, I feel like, see, I guess it dealing with media and media in scale takes me back to that time in my life, right? The 90s when I was going out into the world, getting my first job, music was my passion. Working in a record shop, shop was fun for me and processing and dealing with and selling and talking about music all day. I was happy, really just happy and didn't have the kind of stresses of later life i was still living at home at that point and life was just fun working was fun dealing with music every day was fun uh it's where i met andrea in our price and 
had a great social life, you know. So I think this all harks back to that time in my life. It's a pleasure. It's not like work for me dealing with this. Hi, Matthew. Danny Elfman, Batman, 10 to 20. Is it? That's interesting, because if it were offering zero. <laughs> I think I scanned this one into Ziffit. Check the uh, disc. Yeah, not bad at all. I remember that film. That's the one with Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman, right? Hmm. Um, those horror soundtracks are crazy money. I used to do film fairs. They are very desirable. Yeah. Does all sealed media sell well? No, it has to be a, it has to have some demand for it. You know, you could have sealed copies of Hearsay's album. They're never going to sell. Um, everything comes down to what demand there is for it. Just because something's sealed doesn't give it any value. Um, I absolutely love media. So easy to list, especially when you have bundles as well as pa packing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that is one of the joys. It doesn't take up a great deal of space. It is relatively easy to research. Um, it is incredibly easy to list, as you say, and shipping. Well, if it's a sin, that will be sold on its own. To pack it, it's grab an envelope off the shelf, put it in, stick the label on. It's literally seconds. So, yes, another reason why I do enjoy media. I've had thoughts recently in recent years of just doing media in a big way, filling this place with media but I get distracted by other things, shiny stuff. <laughs> Worst Batman ever, question mark, George Clooney. I, I don't know. I haven't seen many of the recent ones at all. Was Weird Science soundtrack amongst that horde? Um, don't think so. Ah, Okay. No, you didn't show it. Just letting you know in case you see a copy in the field. Right. Tom, hey, media is my best friend and worst enemy. Yeah. Well, the beauty of this haul is I, I picked all of this stuff out. I didn't just say, although he did offer me everything. I think he said 200 quid for everything. And I nearly just went, yes. But I'm glad I cherry picked to an extent. I've got stuff that I know will sell because there was a lot of dross in there as well, um, particularly with the DVDs. I was very selective with DVDs. But yeah. Okay, I think I will leave you all to get on. Uh, Carla's probably still live, so please go over and check out Carla. She was doing a masked reseller, who will be unmasked by now. <laughs> Media is what allowed me to start part-time reselling as it didn't take as long to sort out yeah everybody by hearsay will get you a nice two pound 25 with free shipping well wow, that, that wow there you go that's used must be at least three pound new <laughs> okay so there you go uh thank you for joining me um i'm making a video of my week uh, so that'll be out hopefully early next week to try and keep me on track with with selling. I've been sorting out Duplo into bundles. I had a massive, massive box full of Duplo, um, which is all now sorted. These are kilo bags and we have little lots of people and vehicles and stuff, which I'm going to get listed tonight. And tomorrow I'm going to be on to this. I will sort all of this into the bundles. I will work out what's going individually and and get as much of it listed by the end of the week as possible so i will try and remember to keep filming this week uh, hopefully that'll be interesting um pleasant valley picker let's end on this the right media in near mint condition is worthwhile got to know what artists sell i don't waste time if they're not near new condition it's good advice um i do have a disc repair machine so i can clean up media but i i tend to check every disc as i go with this lot i checked the first 10 or 20 and realized they were all near enough mint 
so I just started filling my trolley. <laughs> so there you go. Right. Managed to catch you live. Good. Good to see you. Okay. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you're new here, please sub to the channel. There'll be more videos out soon. Um, take care and we'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.